<clears throat> hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I'm coming at you with another paid request. Shut up computer, no one cares. <laughs> um, and uh, this time around this is uh, another random, very very random thing here. But this is from Stephen Heredo who wanted me to read this article out loud and react to it about a guy that became a dog for 12,000 uh, euros and he's worried his friends will think he's weird. Yeah. I'm telling you. You guys are fucking sadists. But you already know this. Anyway, um, I did wait a little bit between the last video and this one because I wanted people to kind of take in the last video about the comic books and the oversaturation of that and, and the movies and people seem to re be responding to that well and you guys seem to like that so yeah I wanted to give people a little bit more of an opportunity to check that one out because I was really uh really into that one so that's why again I waited a little bit but let's uh before we yeah before we get into this fucking train wreck uh, if anyone else wants to submit in a paid request you may do so down below in the description box there is a link to my PayPal account no amount is too big no amount is too small it does not have to be just a movie review it could be a TV series cartoon comic book video game music random thoughts rant streams commentaries and anything in between and that's what the paid request is set up for so again if any of you are interested go ahead send it in and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can for those of you that have sent them in before, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel, and you want to see me try some different things. It does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos, so it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me cover here on the channel. I keep making them, and at the end of the end of the day, everybody goes home happy, just like they used to say at Blockbuster. So thank you. So, for those that will be so inclined to want to read this fucking article along with me, I will include the link down below in the description box as well. But let's go ahead and get this fucking shit over with. Uh, it says, exclusive man who became a dog for 12,480 euros, which I think is about the same in American dollars. Uh, worries his friends will think he's weird. Um, what do you got to worry about, motherfucker? You are weird. You want to dress up like a goddamn dog. The fuck is wrong with you? You're on crack. Um, a man with a desire to become a dog has fulfilled his lifelong dream after purchasing a 12,480 euro human-sized collie costume. But worries his friends will think he's a bit... Uh, it's a peculiar... Peculiar... I can't read. Have it. And they got a video, and they got just, yeah, well, they got one video on here. I don't, I don't give a fuck. A Japanese man named Toko is sharing updates of his life as a giant dog after spending 2 million yen. Oh, so this is in Japan. This ain't even in fucking England. Which equates to 12,480 euros, which again, I believe in the American dollars, it's about the same, because I know the, the euro is pretty close. It's like Typically, on a normal day, it ranges between like a $1 and $2 difference, so I think it's a bit close. On a human-sized collie costume, Toko has always dreamed of becoming an animal. This motherfucker probably needs to be shot, just saying. And now dresses up as a dog a few times a month to live his childhood fantasy. Oh, so again, this is what happens when you don't fucking tell your kids no. This is what happens when you don't beat your children when they don't fucking listen. So now this motherfucker is allowed to dress up like a dog to fulfill his childhood fantasy. Well, my childhood fantasy was to be Jean-Claude Van Damme, but you don't see me out there doing splits and uh, helicopter kicking in people in the fucking face. Maybe I should. My childhood fantasy was to be Charles Bronson, but I can't go run around shooting everybody. The fuck out of here. Toko, who has his own YouTube channel, that's frightening, regularly shares videos of himself learning how to eat, play, and train like a pooch. Oh, God. First of all, human beings don't deserve dogs. Second of all, these people are fucking crackheads. These fucking 
furries or whatever the fuck they want to be called. People dressing up like goddamn animals and fucking each other up the ass. These people are crackheads. Stay away from these people and keep your children away from these people. Sharing about the opinions of his peers, Toko told The Mirror, which is the publication that posted this, and they're such a credible news source in merry old England. I rarely tell my friends because I'm afraid that they will think that I am weird. Motherfucker, they already think you're weird. You don't have any goddamn friends. My friends and family seem very surprised to learn I became an animal. No, they're not surprised. They want you to be in a goddamn rubber room for the rest of your life and not be around people. Toko says he enjoys most, or he most enjoys, excuse me, doing the things only dogs do because it makes him feel like a proper pet. Again, the fuck is wrong with people? He finds activities that involve his hands the most difficult as his paws often get in the way. Since childhood, I've had this unspecified fantasy of becoming an animal. I wonder whether it was a desire for transformation, Toko explained. Look, Little kids running around acting like dogs and cats, that's normal. Kids do that. That's called playing. That's called pretend. That's called make-believe. That's called having an imagination. That's fine. But if you're fucking 30 and you're acting like a dog, you need fucking psychological help more than me. Clips on Toko's social media show him rolling over. Well, there you go. There's the goddamn problem right there. He's on social media. Rolling over for belly rubs, pretending to sit and lift his paws, and walking on a, a leash. They put, they put lead. I shit you not. It says lead. L e a d. They, there's a typo. Just like a dog. So there you go. So these idiots aren't even fucking checking their work. And like they have pictures and shit. It looks fake as fuck. You could tell that it's not real. He also learnt, it should say learned, but oh well. Well, I guess it's British. Um, he also learnt how to eat fake dog food, because humans should not be eating real dog food. Venture outside in a lift, and even hang in a hammock. Humans can hang in hammocks. I want a hammock. I don't have one. I'm jealous. Toko says he chose a collie because it's his favorite breed of dog, and purchased the realistic costume from Zepit, a Japanese agency known for creating sculptures and models for movies. Okay. So, the people that made this did no wrong because that's their fucking job because they use this shit for movies and stuff. It reportedly took Zepit 40 days to make the costume as Toko kept adding improvements to make it perfect. No, he kept calling him and bothering him because he's a fucking lunatic. A Zepit employee spoke... <coughs> about how the team found a way to create the skeleton structure, it should say skeletal, structure of a dog and spent a lot of time studying it. They said, in addition, we collect photographs taken from various angles so that the beautiful coat of the collie could be reproduced and devised so that the coat will float naturally. Toko's costume has attracted fans from all over the world and his YouTube has created a space for like-minded individuals to open up. No, you all need to be fucking shot. You inspire us to fulfill our dreams too, one subscriber commented on a recent video, while another said, I hope I become the animal I want to be as well. You're an inspiration to us. No, you're all fucking crackheads. Toko's fans reassure him that he isn't weird. No, you, you're all fuck. All of you motherfuckers that dress up like goddamn animals as an adult are fucking weird and you're retarded and you should not be doing this. Go get a goddamn job like a normal person and play fucking video games or something. Christ. Fuck is wrong with people. And he shouldn't hide his animal desire from his close friends and family. No, you shouldn't do it at all. Next thing this motherfucker wants to do is have sex with a dog. Prove me wrong. Don't be nervous of people seeing you. You're just a guy with a quirky hobby. There's nothing wrong with that, someone wrote. No, everything, everything here is wrong. And then everyone in the comments is just lighting this dude up. And that's the end of the article. But No, these fucking people are weird, okay? You know, I was called weird in school because I read fucking comic books. And yeah, I had, you know, 
toys of the comic book characters, like a normal person, like a normal child. This is weird. This is weird shit. Stop doing weird shit, people. Be fucking normal. Be productive adults. Stop wasting $12,000. I wish I had $12,000 to fucking spend. But no, I'm paying my bills like a fucking normal person with every dime that I have. Must be fucking nice. Must be fucking nice. I wish, again, I could just not do anything and dress up as a fucking dog and spend $12,000 and have all these other fucking crackheads talk about dressing up like dogs. These people are weird. These people are fucking weird. I want to leave Earth. I want to get in a spaceship and I want to go get the fuck away from all these crackheads. I want to go to Mars or something with Arnold. Ugh. Anyway, thank you for the paid request. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later.